Today on Drawbly, Ben is drawing hands. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is even better when shared with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And don't forget to check out our guidebook on daily drawing linked below. So Ben, hands. They are so difficult, but they you are, are crazy hard. This already makes you better than any AI algorithm out there. Like <laughs> I'm better than AI. Ooh, that should be the title of this video. I surpassed AI. AI. Yes. <laughs> I'm better than AI, I swear. Draws a stick figure hand. I'm better than AI. It has five fingers. You can't do that, can you, AI? <laughs> yeah, so I'm drawing hands because one, I found this amazing hand drawing pack on ArtStation. Yeah, this it was is like seven dollars. So cool. I'll put a the name of the artist up on screen. Ba -dum, ba -ding. Yeah, so definitely go check out their hand drawing pack. They have a bunch of other awesome references as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I tried to draw a bunch of these. I had more success with some of these earlier ones, less success with some of the others, but you know, it's a mixed bag. I and... like the simple mid-tones you were using there mm. to like bring some more form and dimension to it. I always forget to add those in my simpler sketches. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that actually brings a lot in. Hands are hard though. What was, hands are so hard. <laughs> what was the biggest challenge to you with drawing hands? Any mm. big revelations on like, oh, this is hard. I think my big takeaway was that I have not I, I like the whole time I was thinking, wow, I've actually not drawn that many hands mm -hmm. and I need to practice drawing hands more because the more I drew hands, the more I found that I was like, oh, I, if this was a face, I'd be doing so much better on it because I have so much more practice with mm -hmm. a face, mm -hmm. but hands are just, they're different. Yeah. Like, it, it, it was kind of a weird realization mm -hmm. where I was mm -hmm. like, you know, I feel like I would do better if this was a face, which yeah. a long time ago, I would have never felt that way. I feel like for me, hands, the parts that I feel comfortable in are like the second half of the fingers. So anything past like the middle knuckles. And then I tend to get a little wonky with like the initial knuckles. Um, I used to know hand anatomy. I clearly don't anymore. The initial knuckles, there's an actual name for them. Look it up. The thumb in relation to the rest of the Are you talking about the, the name hand. of the joints or the bones yeah yeah ah. the th i could think about I, I could name them if i thought for a moment right but i don't care enough to <laughs> <laughs> the thumb is always a little hard because as many times as i try to draw it and i think it looks kind of like a peanut shape <laughs> it still ends up looking like more of like a weird oblong who knows what that is kind of thing mm. um one thing i like to focus on when i draw hands i love Tell focusing me. on the negative shapes yes i found that very helpful as yeah. well the actual like back of the hand, like the meat of the hand, that is surprisingly kind of difficult the, for the me sometimes. The dorsal side of the hand? Yeah, weirdly as such like a simple part of the hand, I sometimes really struggle to get that correct proportionally to what I'm doing with the fingers yeah, and it's, subsequently it's quite the difficult. wrist. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I know a ton about proportions and anatomical form in the hands, but uh, lines are just, uh, translating it to lines is quite difficult for me, mm -hmm. and it's something I definitely want to practice more. I feel like when I'm drawing, a lot of my knowledge not necessarily goes out the window, but it's just so different, where like when I'm sculpting, I can just like finagle form for as long as I want, and if it starts looking bad, I can like you know, play with it and shape it up into something that looks better. But if I draw a bad line, mm -hmm. like, I can't really like, I can sit there and erase the line and keep drawing a new line, but like I just have to be better at drawing lines. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lines, I do like lines. Like lines hold no fear to me, um, but I do still want to work on tapering my lines. One area that really I, I feel find like is line weight. Yeah, it always it kind of hits me when I'm drawing like the tips of fingers. They tend to come across really heavy to me. Mm. Um, so one thing I do is, lately is when I draw hands, I draw the whole hand and then I go back and gently erase on the tips of the fingers. Ooh. You're not having that problem here. I feel like the tips of the fingers you're drawing here look nice. They look tapered, eh, delicate. Because eh. I'm, you know, I'm trying to draw like, let's say like, stylized like women's hands that are also elegant mm. and perfect and tapered so hard and to i'm draw like elegance. these hands were built to hold an axe oh, okay. <laughs> by the time i'm done i'm just like wow. oh like the statue of david where the hands are just em like emphasized and huge mm. compared big, to the big body chonky hands mm -hmm. yeah I, I think my biggest takeaway from drawing hands I, I mentioned the thing about like hands are hard but like 
It's so crazy how much I've leveled up at drawing faces lately. I've been focusing on lines a lot lately, mm -hmm. but like just shifting the hands and how different it was. I think it's just something about like, I mean, obviously I know like what, like I can sculpt a face without looking at any reference pretty fast and easily. Um, but like the tool set is so different in terms of like, where do I need lighter lines in terms of like line weight and where can I add shadow with my my hatching and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All that is stuff that like I don't have practice in and that like just the more I do, the better I'm gonna get at it. Yeah. And so it's just like so crazy to be like, wow, like I have leveled up at drawing a lot lately, but I feel like very little of that has translated to my ability to draw hands mm -hmm. just because I haven't practiced that specifically. Yes, they do, I think, require their own specific time of practice, dedicated time, learning. You know, I just had this thought. I but wonder, it does help me practice a lot of d new categories, I, I will say. If I had practiced drawing when I was younger, as much as I practiced instruments, which was Ooh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes multiple <laughs> hours per day, I wonder how good I'd be. I wonder if I was able to apply that now, because that's a different kind of discipline I had back then as like a teenager and- uh, Yeah, you had more time. I had time, but also there was like maybe more extrinsic motivators for me at that time too. My mom saying, Abby, you gotta go practice Abby. flute. And I'd be like, okay. And then I'd sit down and that would help me get started. And then gradually, you know, I'd get into it and be like, okay, I'm having a good time. Cause I yeah. always was. Um, yeah, I think it would have been awesome to have gotten into art earlier, but I just knew nothing about art. I didn't do any art stuff growing up. I didn't do any art classes really growing Me up. I did I did like one one like little thing with a community art class. Yeah. And we ended up painting this mural for the front of our neighborhood that was there for a while. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it was like a 9/11 memorial uh, monument wow. kind of thing. Yeah, it, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, but that was like when I was very young and you know, I didn't really have much of a hand in it. This hand is awesome. Much of a hand in it. <laughs> that last hand was awesome by the way. I love the colors you were using. The colors though. I really liked the colors in it. This hand is really cool to look at. I love this pack of hands. Um, I'll have to draw some from this pack myself soon because... I think I gave it to you. You did. You did. I just, um, I was drawing other things this week so I didn't get into it yet. But now I'm done drawing those things so... Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. I try, as you can see, you know, with the last hand in this one, I definitely tried to shift into uh, more of a painterly kind of thing just yeah. to like play around with that. And uh, I found that to be pretty hard. Um, but also I will say when I was drawing these, I drew all these hands in one sitting. And uh, I like, after every hand I drew, I was like, I'm kind of done drawing hands. I think I'm gonna do something else. And then mm. I'd stop myself and be like, no, I must continue. I must that draw more. Awesome. So um, I wasn't really enjoying drawing the hands. Aww. Which is why I, I so my heart wasn't in it. So mm -hmm. I think that, you know, a lot of these aren't as good as they could have been. Maybe that's, but maybe that means that next time when you go to draw hands and you're that much better, it'll be easier to get your heart into it For because sure. it will feel like less of an uphill climb. Absolutely. Um, I think that's the same with like, I guess I can liken right now everything to music, but when I'd start a new piece of music to learn it, mm -hmm. at first that was kind of the least fun part is like carefully sounding through the notes, practicing the same little run up of notes like 20 times in a row, trying to get this frustrating little piece down. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, you're blasting through that whole piece and it sounds amazing and you're like really excited to play it and you play it faster and better. Um, Flow state. Yeah, yeah. So and it takes a long time, sometimes weeks, to get to that point where you're like, yes, I have this piece down now. Um, so maybe hands are the same way. Maybe. Maybe I'll like um, get my little habit tracker stamp that I bought at this little knickknack store um, and, and stamp a piece of paper and check off every day that I draw hands and I'll do hands every day. The X factor as they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's what yeah. that's called. Let's do it, let's And do it. if you want a X factor, click that like and subscribe button and check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, link below. Share your artwork on Instagram with the hashtag Drawbly because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. Would you like a hand with that? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Why don't we give you a hand for this? Um, gotta hand it to you. Um, uh -huh. um uh -huh. I need a hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, one more, one more. Hand it over.
That's nothing. None of those were anything. <laughs> they were not. <laughs>